Hello, my sweet country loving, country craft loving friends. Hello, hello. All right, looks like everything is good. The craft loving. Okay, can hear myself, so that's good. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, we're going to be doing some country crafting today, so I'm so glad that y'all are joining me. No worries. Once I get started with the craft, I'll bend you down or I will, you know, show you my workspace so that you can see, but I just wanted to welcome you all. Hello, Miss Deborah. Say hello as you come onto the page. Uh, I would love to know where you're watching from uh, because I, I, I honestly do love to know where my community is watching from. Uh, so I am so honored and blessed that y'all are here today. We're going to be doing some crafting, some crafting, just making sure everything is working. And it does look like it's working. All right, everything is good to go. So many of my uh, sweet fellow creatives have just been having a hard time when it comes to crafting and stuff. So anyway, uh, hopefully we're good. Hopefully we are good. Hello, hello. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, um... Now, um, I'm going to need your imagination today, <laughs> okay? Promise me that you will give me your, I'm stretching the imagination today, okay? <laughs> hello, Miss, hello, Miss Sybil. Hello, Sandra. Uh, so I, if you're new here, welcome. If you're just scrolling Facebook uh, and, you know, hopping on, my name is Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. And I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. <laughs> yes, I do. So Sandra's watching from Virginia. Diana is watching from Wisconsin. And so, you know, I guess the comments will come as, uh, as I get in. So um, I, you know, I put out this past week, I had put out uh, a video with some country apple DIYs and my community, that has been a very highly requested uh, craft. The, I guess a lot of people, most people craft in the fall with pumpkins and gourds and that kind of thing, but apples actually are a fall craft as well. And so, uh, you know, I, I have put out a couple of videos with apples and so they get a lot of views because a lot of my friends like the apple crafts and stuff. So thanks for sprinkling the charm, Miss Sybil. I appreciate it. Phyllis is watching from Ohio. Laurie is watching from Indiana. I am in the great state of Texas, USA. So I appreciate wherever y'all are watching in the world. We want to give a special prayers a uh, special prayer uh, of safety to our friends in Florida because there is a hurricane, a terrible storm headed that way. So we want to ask our Lord to block that minimal damage. We don't want anything that we just want people to be safe. <laughs> I get emotional when I think and talk about it because even though I, where I live in a little town called Brenham, we are a, a far enough from the coast of Galveston, uh, you know, it like when it comes into the Gulf of Mexico, but we have gotten some of like the, you know, out, outskirts of it, but like Houston, that's got hit with Hurricane Harvey, man, that, that hit so close to home. And there's just so many, you know, hurricanes that come in this area. So it, during hurricane season, we're on high alert. <laughs> okay, guys. So, this past week, I had put out a video with apples, and so y'all seem to love that. So here is one of them. These are uh, tin can apples. I think they look more high-end because I use uh, some of those vinyl tiles from... Now, I got my vinyl tiles from Family Dollar, but uh, some people are fortunate to find them at... Dollar Tree. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, Dollar General. Anyway, so I have that video on my YouTube channel if you want to check that out. If you hadn't seen, I made a larger one that I have right here. <laughs> and then this one, this is just using a vegetable can. And so I show you in the video how I made everything. 
So we're going to just put that right there. So today I am going to be making some apples, some country apples. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to need, I'm going to stretch your imagination. Okay. <laughs> now in the event uh, that I had shared you know, that I had made for this crafting time. I just shared some square pumpkins that I had made out of canvases a few years ago. I put a picture and I put a link to the video if you would like to see that. I'm going to go ahead and do that here in the uh, chat as well uh, because I know, you know, sometimes people like things right at their fingertips. So I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing. Uh, like I'll put things, hey, from Louisiana, girl, I know that you know what it is all about when it comes to um, hurricanes. <laughs> we don't want them. We don't want them because they just do not. Uh, yeah, some of them, it's kind of like you want to stay in the Gulf or stay out there. Don't be coming on land. <laughs> Anyway, so I put a link to some square pumpkins and for whatever reason, it's not letting me insert a picture, but okay. It, I did put a picture in the event if you wanted to see it. Okay, so today we're going to be making some country apples with canvases. Okay, I know I'm stretching the imagination. Now, um, let me show you this. I had made some of these i may actually made this this morning these are square pumpkins yes i am playing with your imagination um but you know pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes and you know they just they just be cute and so i made them this is the one that i made this morning with some you know made them like with the in the pumpkin family kind of thing and don't worry i did film it so i will be including that and you know and have it uploaded to my youtube channel uh sometime soon i hope to do that uh anyway but now i'm going to show you how we're going to make the apple version of this <laughs> apple version of this okay all right so guys this is what we're going to be um we're going to be using let me move this. We don't need it. Move that out of the way. All right. Now, what I did is I am working with three canvases. All of these canvases came from the Dollar Tree. So I paid $1.25 for them. So, uh, you know, this can be a pretty inexpensive craft if you ha already have all of this stuff. And, you know, if you have the scrapbook paper and that kind of thing, you know, I'm choosing to use scrapbook paper, but someone can also can paint them you know i love to paint and all of that but i wanted to use some scrapbook paper i just i just did and so uh, like i said these are my square pumpkins these are a little bit smaller than the ones that i did a few years ago but i wanted to use them i wanted to use items that people could get pretty easy and so we dollar tree if you have a crafter square which most of them do uh, they have all of these cams. All right, so this is an eight by 10, and then this is uh, a five by seven, and then a four by six. So that's what I did. All right, so these are the scrapbook papers that I'm using. This is a red buffalo check. Now this came out of a pack of uh, buffalo check that I had found at Hobby Lobby just recently, and it's actually thicker cardstock. This is kind of, it looks like a burlap, uh, with red and it's a paper studio. So I got that at Hobby Lobby as well. Y'all know that's my favorite store and this is um, It says the paper studio. So all of these papers should be able, you know, if you want this specific one <laughs> The specific one. Okay. All right So now what I want to do is go ahead and uh, get this stuff drying uh, and then I'll cut out my my um, uh, hard stock and all of that stuff. I wanted to get all of, you know, kind of get that done a little bit, but you know, things just go. My craft and chat days or my craft and create days, they goes pretty fast. <laughs> it does. It does go pretty fast. All right. So, um, since I'm doing apple, this is my favorite apple color, which is crimson. And it's just a Waverly um, chalk um, from 
uh, Walmart. Walmart. All right, so let me zoom you down here a little bit so that y'all can see. Now, I am working on my uh, Mevo camera, and so I have pulled out my Mevo, started using that again, and uh, because I like the option that I can zoom in and out, and yeah, I like that. So what I'm gonna do first is I want to just paint the edges. Oh, I forgot to put my apron on. And I got me a new apron from Hobby Lobby that is a um, fall one. I like to wear an apron, especially when I paint because I am messy and you know what? I'm working with red paint and I always get it all over my hands. And so I ha that's the reason why I have these vinyl gloves in here. <clears throat> yes, lots of prayers for our friends in Florida. So I just, I tend to get um, paint all over my hands, especially when I use red paint. Hello, hi everyone. When you're coming on and I see everyone saying hello as you're joining, I appreciate y'all uh, watching. So I had shared um, something funny. I had painted some apples a few, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. It was part of um, my project that I did for Craft Around the Clock. And I had painted some apples. Well, I didn't realize that I had got red paint on my wedding ring. And I usually do not wear uh, any jewelry when I craft. Um, with the exception of when I do a live because, you know, anyway, because we're going to be fancy like that. And so anyway, I had gotten some red paint on my, the top of my ring. Well, I didn't realize it until, uh, a little bit later. And of course I was, you know, freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought I, you know, I had gotten blood on it, you know, because it's red. And, uh, uh so it did, um, it did, you know, come off, <laughs> but I said, okay, Tracy, you need to wear some gloves. So anyway, I am just going around and just painting, uh, the sides of it so that I don't see the white. So if you're just hopping on, we're making, I'm playing with your imagination today, and we are making some square apples. I know apples are not square. I know pumpkins are not square, but you know, when we decorate them or we decorate, they can be anything we want them to be, right? <laughs> that is right. Guys, this fall fall has definitely found its way to Texas, and I am loving the mornings. Uh, they are just so fun, and the dogs really love them. They do. Okay, let me close this up. All right. So we want to. Um, I'm gonna dry this up, and of course, I probably should have, you know, trimmed out my paper before I painted it, but that's okay. Hey guys, I see that everybody is continuing to say prayers for Florida. We love our Florida friends, our family. Some people have family there. Florida is uh, near and dear to our hearts. Okay. <clears throat> so I was thinking I would use the, the big one, this one. And I should have 
drew it out before, but that's okay. It's going to be on the back, so we're not going to sweat it. And I hope I didn't get any paint on the front. I'm going to see in a minute because, you know, yep, we're good. <clears throat> so, again, uh, if you're just popping on, just scrolling through Facebook and uh, you're, you know, popping on and going, what's this girl doing? I am making some square apples. This is... Uh, my project I did this morning, I made some square pumpkins like this. And so uh, we are going to make some square apples. So these little four by six canvases, this, now this is a flat one. These came from um, Dollar Tree. They came from Dollar Tree. And so I'm going to use this extra one. The four by six, there's three of them in the pack. And then the five by seven, uh, they, there are two in a pack and I had to buy two of the eight by 10. So, and those were at my Dollar Tree. Oh, welcome to my craft, craft room, everyone. So, yeah, my craft room has been buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. I have been a busy girl just getting things, uh, getting some more fall wreaths uh, done for the gift shop that I designed for, uh, which is in Brenham, Texas. It is a gift shop by the name of Select Furnishings. Actually, they're a home furnishing store, and they have gift shop in there. And so I, uh, the wreaths that I design, I that is for them and so they had uh, customers wanting some more fall wreaths that scarecrow wreath so i did a, about three of those and then i have a few other things that i'm working on because then i need to get started on on christmas <laughs> okay welcome hi hey tony hey patricia Hey, hey guys, I'm so glad that you are all here. If you're watching now, if you're watching on the replay, I am so glad that y'all are here so very much. Okay, so then um, I'm going to Mod Podge this on and I'm using the heat transfer method um, for the Mod Podge. Do, do. Oh, get me a brush. All right. I, I just like the heat transfer method. And if that, if you're new to that, um, it is, you just put Mod Podge on and let it dry and then use an, an iron. I'm using a Cricut mini press. That's what I'm using. Go ahead and put that on so it can be heating up. I do try to make sure that I pay a, a close attention to the edges so that when I, you know, provide the heat to it, it does, you know, seal it all the way around. And so the reason that I paint uh, around the edge, well, first around the edges because, you know, they're exposed, but then I go uh, a little bit in to the actual body of it because in, just in case I get the paper off, which yes, I have been known to do. Uh, Patricia's asking what temp on the easy mini press. I just do it all the way. I do it till it gets hot like that. That's what I've been doing. Um, I have no idea what the temp is. I just make sure that that's all covered like that. Now, uh, some friends they use a little mini iron or use your big iron, you know, um, whatever works for you. 
but it's just I had my little Cricut mini press so I said you know instead of going buying something else I'm gonna go ahead and use that so we are I'm playing with your imagination today guys and we are <laughs> making some square apples and these this is the paper I'm using uh, for my apples all of it came from Hobby Lobby it's all paper studio so that's what we're using So I'm just using my, my heat gun to kind of, uh, you know, speed the process up a little bit. a little bit more and see I still even with gloves I just I get so messy I get so messy with red paint I do I get so messy with red paint it's like my nemesis red paint it's just like it gets everywhere you know like a small child like a small child that you just get stuff, you just have stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, I like the distressing, uh, the distress look of things. So I pulled out my distress, my favorite vintage photo, distress ink. And so I'm just gonna go around the edges just to give it some color. So in my, in my mind, this is going to turn out really cute. <laughs> and so um, just like what I did with the pumpkins this morning, um, I'm not sure if I want to put a, a, like a hanger on it and you, if I want to make it a hanger, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Or I, I had glued them. This is, the, this is what I'm talking about. We're making an apple version of my square pumpkins just using canvases from Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, I will have the tutorial of all of this because I did film that this morning. I will upload that to my YouTube channel, but I'm making, I wanted to give a pumpkin version and an apple version. That's what I wanted to do because I know if I would just show this to y'all, I would have some of my sweet friends to say, do you have a tutorial on that? And I know y'all say that's so sweet. Do you have a tutorial on that? Do you have a video on that? Uh, so apples are actually fall. <laughs> fall harvesting and fall crafting as well. And so when I, every time I upload or do a craft with apples I do I get so many you know friends that say thank you for doing some apple crafts because the apple it seems to be the forgotten the forgotten fruit I guess when it comes to you know everybody's either just pumpkins and think fall is just about pumpkins but I'm trying to incorporate more apple crafts because that is what I have been getting is some requests for some apple crafts and I'm going around this one but I may want to go I may want to do white <clears throat> so of course all these little ink pads came from Habe Labe that is my um favorite store let me see it's not really showing up too good but it's all right since i already started i'm gonna go ahead that is show up too good but you know what i can use some white paint and we can make them look really cute because you know that's what how i roll 
That is how I roll. Okay. All right. So this is going to be one. Then this one's going to be the other. And then um, I'm thinking I want to do the apple this way. I may do it this way. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> So we want to do some doodles and some squiggles, guys, because y'all know I love that, doodles and squiggles. And so many sweet friends are loving the doodles and squiggles. I've been doing that for so many years, and I just uh, don't make them perfect. Um... And there, it's not like in a straight line. It's just kind of just going around just to give it some squiggles like that. So we're making some fall country apples. And so I know that there are um, quite a few people that actually decorate uh, their kitchen or their something with apples. I know my sweet sister-in-law, that's what she um, did in her previous home. They're going to be building an, another one, so I'm not quite sure what her decor is going to be, but she's a she's an educator. She's in the education field, so she is um, the apple person in the family. All right, so then now let's see. Um, and I want to just share because I get questions all the time about my liner brush. Now, this is a very loved liner brush. And I just want to give a little tip if you are uh, want to use a liner brush. Find one that is a liner brush that is, and take out some of the bristles. Because you need, if you want really thin lines, you need um, just a few bristles. You know, so that you don't have, get big clumps. You want something very thin. And so this is uh, my little liner brush that I use all the time. It's been with me for a long time. Long, long time. So Lori has a question. She says, I've been trying to figure out faux apple slices, figure out faux apple slices to look realistic. Um, I'm not sure. That's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. But Pinterest is a great place. And then also there are so many, um, you know, when I'm scrolling through, I see a lot of uh, apple kind of, you know, friends doing some apples, some faux apples. And so I'm sure you can find some kind of tutorial or something that someone has, you know, created and, and that it works for them. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Lori. I, I, I don't, I have not done any faux apples like that. So I'm just taking my little line of brush and then going all the way around, just like that. Definitely check out the groups. Um, and it may have been in the Craft Around the Clock group. Uh, I'm not sure, but there, because I see so many, you know, Pinterest and just, and I, I, I like have so many different groups and I forget where did I see what? <laughs> what did I see what, you know? So uh, anyway, but I wanted to show y'all that. And so then now all of this is dry. So I have my parchment paper. And let's see, this one's dry. So then, um, I don't know. I just, I like this um, heat transfer method. Just using my little iron 
And I'm using some parchment paper. If you're new, if you haven't uh, seen the heat transfer method, it just, I put a layer of Mod Podge on my surface and then I am just using my little Cricut mini press and just going in, I guess it heats up the, you know, the Mod Podge that was on the surface and then it sticks. And so always make sure and pay special attention to the edges, you know, so that it doesn't pick up. And so as long as I have been doing this, it's been pretty good. Like I haven't had any of my paper pick up. Now I um, also wanted to share later once I get finished with this, then I'll go back over it uh, with to seal it. I will use, when I use paper like this, uh, especially this heat transfer method, I will use Mod Podge. Um, I usually don't use my liquid varnish. I, I just put Mod Podge over it because it kind of like seals it. Okay. Yeah, that looks like an apple, right? <laughs> We're just playing on the imagination. Okay, so I found this morning that I had to, because the, the uh, canvas, you know, this particular canvas, you know, has the, in the back, and so I needed something heavy for it, or, or for it to kind of stick to, like in the, in the center. So I wanted to, I just pulled out an extra block that I had. <clears throat> So just making some fall country apples. That's what we're doing. So I'm just, uh, just so that my paper doesn't shift, I'm just going over it in the center. Well, I appreciate that, Patricia. She says they were very country charming apples. Thank you, sweet lady. I appreciate that. I get, I have the best community. Everyone is just so supportive and just so, you know, welcoming. Hello, I am so happy y'all are watching today. We're making some country apples out of canvases. And so they are, you know, square canvases. Uh, I had made some of these a few years ago and I had them on my YouTube channel for, for a long time and I share them every fall season because, you know, not every person, you know, sees every video at the same time. And so, um, you know, it's, it's good to kind of refresh and kind of share things, uh, you know, again, because, you know, people forget about it and that kind of thing. So uh, I had made some of these w using some bigger size canvases. Patricia asked, how about making a ghostly one too? Um, sure, that would be cute if that's what you're, I, I don't make too much Halloween anymore, just for personal reasons. Uh, but yeah, that would absolutely be darling if, I like cute, I always, like the cute little ghosts and the little jack-o'-lanterns and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I don't do too much Halloween anymore. So, okay, guys, this is where we're at. <clears throat> so, this is going to be my big apple. This is that size. And then I think I'm going to put this one this way, just like that. All right, and of course, I have to add some paint splattering because, you know, that's how I roll. And I'm just going to be using, just doing black today. And this right here actually has some on it because so, I don't know, I guess. Did that from somewhere. Sometimes I just never know Oops. where my craft room is busy 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 I got a lot sometimes I have two or three projects going on at one time 
Yep, that's what I do. That's what I do. All right, so uh, if you're new to paint splattering, uh, I just use a stiff brush and a stick, and I just go across the bristles toward my body one time. I do not go back over it, um, but what it does when I go across the bristles, the paint projects onto my project. And so if I were to go away from my body, guess where the paint's gonna go? On me. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want that. So, of course, since we're making some country apples, um, maybe I'm going to want to put some white on there. So I get a separate brush for that. And I have to pull out my smaller bottle because my other one fell off the table. I'll get that later. So when I'm doing two colors, um, I, I always do put the white on top because that's just a personal preference. And I don't use the same brush, like, you know, swish it out and use it because <laughs> I don't swish it out well enough. And guess what? My whatever I'm splattering comes out gray. <laughs> so that's what I do. <clears throat> All right. So we're just going to hit this really quick with this. So this would be so cute for, you know, like someone's kitchen, you know, you could set it on a shelf or you could, um, you know, just put a hanger on it, put it on a pantry door, uh, you know, or use whatever like scrapbook paper you're using. You could just really make them look so, so cute. You know, so, 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 so cute. Okay, so for the stem, what I'm using is a, a craft stick. Now, I find these giant, they're actually called giant, giant craft sticks. I find those at Walmart in the craft section. Walmart, this size right here. Uh, and the reason that I'm stressing that is because I do. I get questions. Um, <laughs> I like to share like where I get things because I get questions. <laughs> I'll get private messages. Where do you get the, you know, XYZ or where did you get your craft sticks? Are they the giant or are they the large? They're actually called giant. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I don't want this part right here. And actually one stick will do great just for this this project, okay? All right, so I'm going to use a baby wipe and just stain it. Just going over it with a baby wipe. So Miss Patricia also said she sees Christmas presents. Absolutely. I uh, When I made those square canvases a few years ago, I actually was going to do that. Well, you know, time slips away. And then it's like, oh, you never did that. But that would be so cute. Maybe I'll do that. So, um, there was a suggestion. Uh, I think sweet. Patricia asked, said about, um, you know, ghosts. You could do that. Uh, cute little jack-o'-lanterns, you know, just cute little things, you know, since Halloween's coming up, uh, that kind of thing. And then uh, also Christmas, Christmas presents. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is um, cut this into three, three sections. And I find um, that if I use my... Tim Holtz, these little short scissors like this with these craft sticks, I don't get cracking. You know, like, you know how the stem kind of cracks? I don't get that. And so 
That makes me happy. So I'm just using a, a sponge and just going, this has some of that distressing ink on it that I like to use, that vintage photo. I need to get a little bit more. So I just wanted to, um, you know, share, since my community was asking for more Apple projects, and I said, ah, well, let's make some square apples. Let's play on the imagination. All right. So sometimes when I put all of my, like my bow, my ribbon and pit berries and all that stuff on it, it kind of covers this up. But I just, you know, I say all the time, the beauty is in the details. So it makes me feel better. I know that it's here. And I guess that's still wet because this is not. Just using a fine sharpie marker. I need to let that dry. I need to let it dry a little bit because it's too wet. It, it, won't, it won't do the marking. Okay. So, and then, oh. What I was going to share, I had pulled out these words. Now, these came from the Dollar Tree. They have Farm Fresh in it. It's a crafter square. So, maybe your Dollar Tree, um, you can find this that says Farm Fresh. How cute would that be for the apples or the pumpkins? Now, what I did, because I like to hand letter, and I'll glory to the Lord for the gift of hand lettering. Um, so, this right here is just something that I hand lettered because I wasn't sure how I was going to, uh, how much time I was, how much time this was going to take. <laughs> and then let's see what else is in here. Blessed, welcome fall, hello autumn. Any of these would be perfect for this. I had bought these a while back, so I wasn't sure what I was in here. And hello fall. So if you're fortunate to find some of these words or maybe another store, any of these would work if you wanted to add some words to your project. So I wanted to share that. Whoa. <laughs> Go back in there. Go back in there. All right, let me try another one. So I just like to add just a little doodling to my stem. And then I'm going to add some white to it as well. So it may not show up too good, but I know it's there. And that makes me feel better. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white to the stem. Now this is going to be the stem of my apples. And like I say, the beauty is in the details. Hello, sweet friend, MNC Treasures. Hi, Cheryl from Illinois. People, uh, friends are watching from all over. Love that so much. Okay. <clears throat> okay so uh let's see what i wanted to share i found this little greenery at walmart yesterday when i was there in the craft section How cute is this? This was at Walmart in the uh, floral section. And so I like, look at the different colors of the leaves. I just love that. That's, I thought, I'm like, that'll look really pretty on my apples. And then I have some of these berries. Now I've had these in my stash for a while. Um, these are more country berries. 
And so I had already cut, taken them off of a garland and put a pick on them because that's what I put in my wreaths. But um, I'll just cut that off and add them to some of my, um, you know, to, to to my little apples. Okay, so thanks, Karen, for the stars. You're so sweet. Oh, I also wanted to share, guys. Um, and I got this um, idea from sweet Tracy Campbell, who is a, a head of Craft Around the Clock. She tea stained some cheesecloth. Now, y'all know, y'all probably already know this, but um, I just coffee stained it or tea stained it, but this was coffee stained. And so uh, it's cheesecloth. I found my cheesecloth at Walmart. It was white, white like this. And so I just put some coffee in a bowl and so actually I had, I had too much water in it. It wasn't getting dark the way that I wanted it. And so I actually had to pour some of it out and then add a little bit more coffee. <laughs> My husband was trying to, you know, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm trying to make these uh, coffee stain them. And he, he's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And so um, I just love this in my country, you know, primitive country, rustic decorating. And so uh, I wanted to share that if some friends wanted, um, you know, cheesecloth. At, and actually where I found mine was at in the um, canning section, in the canning section. So I'm going to make a bow, some bows. Um, I don't think I want to make them quite as big. These are these are my square pumpkins that I made this morning. I will have a video for this on my YouTube channel. I'll get that edited and uploaded. Um, I don't know if I want to make it quite as big. Um, I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, so I have some of this. Some of that. And then I pulled out these. Oh, my goodness. They just... You know, they're open. When I open things, then I stick them back in. But they're wood roses. They came from Dollar Tree. Little wood curl roses. So I'm like, oh, that might look good on my apples. Of course, I pulled out my jewel recording because I like that. I like the little, little wincy look. And then I have some muslin, some muslin fabric, and I like the ripped edge. Well, thank you, sweet Karen. Karen says she really enjoys watching me create. I appreciate that so much. I continue to do this because I get sweet messages like that. Um, I've said it before. I say this humbly. Uh, you know, I get private messages. I get, you know, comments to say, you know, people who are... Um, alone, um, you know, uh, in hospital, uh, you know, bedridden, uh, you know, just can't get out, that kind of thing. They just find it, you know, they just find it refreshing or just, it's like hanging out with a friend. So that's why I continue to do this because I'm getting emotional. <laughs> eh, I try not to get emotional. <sighs> yeah. So now I found this brown fat quarter at Walmart in the fat quarter section. And so, um, you know, it, it's like folded up in a square. And so then I just took uh, my little Cricut mini press and just kind of tried to get out the um, creases the best that I could. Because you know how they're all creased and stuff. So I said, well, I like this color of brown also. And, you know, this is very stringy, but I like the ripped, torn edges. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So Patricia is having all kind of uh, suggestions. Gingerbread people. Okay, so <clears throat> oh, and then I have some lace 
and little trims. And when uh, uh, Hobby Lobby has their laces and trims on sale, um, that's a good time to really get a lot of their um, laces and trims. Okay. All right. These leaves came, or this garland came from Walmart. And I like the different two tones leaves. I thought they would be perfect for my apples. Okay. All right. So then <clears throat> to make sure that my stems day. Um, I'm going to use E6000 as well as hot glue. Hi Tina. Hi Terry. <clears throat> so I am just I'm gluing these down just like that. I am playing on your imagination today. <laughs> yes, I am because we're making some square country apples. Hey, there are apples, so we, they can be any shape or size that we want them to be. And so we have all kind of uh, different different suggestions for different holidays some cute ghosts for halloween uh and some gingerbread men some christmas presents so i can already see the wheels are turning the wheels are turning okay and then i like this jewelry cord it's thin uh some people call it hemp cording but I just like it for my little country projects as well as raffia. That is, um, you know, that is my heart. I love me some of raffia. Um, but I do understand that a lot of, you know, some people don't. So I don't use all of the different supplies. There's some supplies that I do not like. I can't think of anything right off the because I'm such a craft junkie. So. So Patricia is in Florida. Okay, she said not much to do. Come here with, ins with inspirations. That's sweet. Well, I hope, I pray for your safety. Um, just pray for all of our friends uh, in Florida because this is a, a trying time trying time so I'm just making I call it like a shoelace bow and so I just go back and forth just like that and then oh, Cheryl says chimney count down block I'm not I don't understand what that means. Chimney. Well, hello, Ace and Carrie Jones. First time commenting. I usually am just usually a silent watcher, but just wanted to let you know that I am glad I found your page. Oh, you're sweet. I love to watch and even inspired to start a page. Well, I'm so glad that I inspired you or help inspire you. She lives in Tennessee. So um, glad to, yes. Uh, so she likes old school type crafts too. I am. I am an old uh, school crafter. I love my happy dots. I love my torn edges, my, uh, you know, paint splatters and all of that stuff. So I'm just making some of these bows. Well, thank you, Carrie. I welcome you. Um, 
to my page, anyone who's new or if you've been with me for a while, I so appreciate y'all watching. And um, like I said, I will add this to my YouTube channel. I'll get it, you know, edited and upload it because I want to include that, uh, those square pumpkins, you know, that I made this morning. Like I said, I did film that, so I will include it. Oh, sorry. Okay, Cheryl, paint the block like a chimney. Uh, somehow do date blocks that you can count down the days of Christmas. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Okay. Wonderful idea. All right. So that's what I did. I used that, that jewel recording or hemp cording. <clears throat> and I love, I love this cheesecloth. I just love it. The little coffee stain cheesecloth. Uh, I don't know. I just, you know, love it in the uh, country decorating. Um, Joe is asking, did I ever find the wooden skates at Dollar Tree? No, I didn't. I never did. That's what's so frustrating with the Dollar Tree is not every Dollar Tree is the same or has the same stuff, you know? It's so frustrating because so many, um, this summer I was in, um, my husband and I went to Fort Worth in July. And so uh, I, you know, on the way home, we stopped at the Dollar Tree there and I found quite a bit of stuff, you know, things that, I've been seeing other people, but I can't find it here, even in my area. Now, I don't live too far from Bryan College Station, so that's usually, I, I either have a Dollar Tree here or College Station or in um, Houston, the Cypress area. But even that doesn't have, I guess I would have to go farther into Houston because, you know, they have quite a few dollar trees and that kind of thing but i'm not driving all over town or you know all over there okay so we're going to make some bows here and this ribbon is from hobby lobby that's my favorite store a lot of my stuff comes from hobby lobby the majority of my stuff okay so i like to do that all right, so before I, I just wanted that to dry and then get that ready to go. All right, so um, for, now these are my square pumpkins and what I had done is I had, uh, cause I like dimension. So I use some of my, uh, I use the brown underneath here. I don't know if you can kind of see, to kind of lift it up a little. So, um, I think that's what I'm going to do for my red apples. And so I've also used uh, Jenga blocks or tumbling tower blocks, but I found this thicker, the 5M, it's Silly Winks foam sheet. I call it craft foam, <laughs> foam uh, at Hobby Lobby. And um, so, you know, it's red, it's already, so I don't have to paint it. So I'm just going to... And like I said, um, I would put a coat of Mod Podge on it to seal it and stuff, but for just for time purposes and for video purposes, I'm not gonna do that right now. But that's what I would do just to, you know, seal everything. And I should have cut it a little bit wider, but that's all right. So I like to, when I glue my stuff, you know, I want it to stay. So I like to use the combination of E6000 as well as hot glue. The E6000 gives me that permanent hold and then the um, hot glue gives me that instant. But 
but you know everybody has their own choice of what they <clears throat> yes miss terry hit and miss at dollars yeah it's just it's so frustrating hit and miss at all the dollar trees that is um just the biggest complaint when it comes to dollar trees because you know people see others you know doing a craft with a with something and then you know you want to do it too and you can't find it because your dollar tree doesn't have it so the beauty is in the details that's one of the things that i always say and so All right, so then um, I'm just trying to make sure that because it like down here, if someone wanted to prop it up, because that's what I did with my other square pumpkins. I just, when I pull out my fall stuff, I just have them on my mantle. I just have them sitting up again. I have this big mirror. And so it's like it has a shelf on it and stuff. And so that's what I do. I just have it propped up against there and it looks so cute. So, but this would be really cute. Um, this would be really cute on a door hanger too. Like for, you know, like put a hanger on it. So cute. Okay, so, so that's where we're at with our little country fall pumpkin, not pumpkins, I got pumpkins on the brain, apples, <laughs> apples, apples guys, apples, that's where we're at, uh, these are my, my square pumpkins, and then we're making the apple version, so I'll have pumpkins and I'll have apples, okay. Pumpkins, and I'll have to move this out of the way because I don't want to get any more paint on anything. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right. So. When I do that, when I whistle like that, my dogs, they like cock their head like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, so I like this little burlap frayed ribbon from Dollar Tree. Now my cheesecloth, my coffee stained cheesecloth is going to go around um, like this. So that's what I'm going to plan to do. Put it around like that. And then I tied, tied that in a knot when I got my bow on there. That worked really good. Move this stuff out of the way. Miss Lori loves her some square apples. I tell you, girl, just the imagination. You know, you just have to, um, you know, all glory to the Lord. I say that humbly because, you know, I always pray about it. And I'm like, Lord, what do you want? What do you want me to create? <laughs> because um, I could create quite a bit of stuff. But then, you know, you don't never know what, you know, everyone wants to see and that kind of thing. And so... Yeah, I, I decided to create some square pumpkins. I wanted to use some things that people, uh, I wanted to do an updated version because I had done some square ones a few years ago and that is on my YouTube channel. I did share the link uh, in the event uh, and then also in the comments I had put a link. And so just kind of, 
layering this up. I don't want it to be too, too much because I, I don't want it to be too much. And then I'm going to use some of these pit berries. Put these on, take them off. <laughs> these I've had in my my um, my stash for a long time. I thought they would be perfect for my country apples. Okay, and then here's my greenery. Let's start assembling these so y'all can see. Put this now. I'm going to put this around here. I'm not on a time schedule today because I um, didn't schedule a craft around the clock this week. I had a busy, have a very busy week because I wasn't wasn't quite sure what all I was going to do. <clears throat> so I wanted to show y'all these because usually because those craft around the clock segments are only 45 minutes and um 45 minute segments and so then always have to rush 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 so okay so just doing some pit berries I keep trying to make my apples look like pumpkins and I'm like, Tracy, stop doing that. <laughs> stop doing that. You don't do that. Okay. So then I'm just going to tie all of this together with my cheesecloth. Make sure my tails of my um, ripped fabric is not underneath there. Okay. I just like that whimsy look. And I pulled up my stem. I thought that was going down a little farther. That's all right. You know what we're gonna do? <clears throat> I I get these uh, or I have these clips from the Dollar Tree in the laundry section, and I love them because I use them for my wreaths, and so I love them because they open wide like this. And so then when I want to hold something in place, I pull that little baby out. And it just helps, like, add some fingers on it. Okay, so there we go. And then this is going to be my little tag, Farm Fresh Apples. I appreciate that. Miss Barbara says, I love when the creators are on. I learn some new crafts. Well, that's good. Well, I am playing on your imagination today. I'm making some square apples, and I totally forgot to put this in. That's all right. We'll glue it on. I always do that. Well, you know what? I can probably... We'll just do that. We'll just glue it on. The beauty is in the details. Just glue that on right there. Just making these for myself. You know, just to provide ideas and just share some something new okay all right so this one's gonna go there 
I always feel like I'm re always rearranging my clutter. <laughs> I do. I always rearrange my clutter. I always do. Okay. So then now we're just going to do this one. And when, you know, those of us that rip our fabric, we, we, yeah, we got strings for days. Strings for days. Let's put that around there. Let me do that. Hello, Jennifer from Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thanks, Tina. Tina says she uh, very pretty apples. Thank you. I know this is not everyone's style, but if you're watching me, you probably love country crafting or some kind of, you know, or, you know, take the idea, make it your own. To, for me, that's the biggest compliment is when people share their creations with me. I do have a free Facebook group uh, called the Country Charm by Tracy Crafty Community. And I'm just twisting this around so it kind of stays. And um, that is a place that you can share your recreate, like something about I've inspired you to do. Or you can share and or you can share your own creations with us. Yeah, I'm probably doing this the hard way. I just totally messed this up. My goodness. My goodness gracious. We'll do that later. Um, as always, I will share finished pictures of both the square pumpkins as well as my square apples. And um, in the description, I'll, you know, share them on my Facebook page as well as uh, on my YouTube because I do upload all of my videos to my YouTube channel. And so I always share pictures on my community page uh, with a link so that you can see the finish craft. Because when I craft like this, I always go back and tweak it and all of that stuff. Always go back and tweak it. Well, hello, Ms. Zena, first time watcher from Pennsylvania. Welcome. Anyone who is new, welcome. My name is Tracy. I love to share uh, country craft ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. I am country through and through. And I guess I used all of my brown fabric. I just buy these, uh, this brown, I like the brown to add into my country decorating. Thanks, Miss Mary Lou. She said, it's so cute, Tracy. Thank you. So sometimes I can get the different colors of fabric in the fat quarters, uh, like at Walmart. So I just like to rip them like that. There it is. I'm like, I was missing one of my bows. Um, one of the little jewel recording, hemp cording. Yeah, I was stuck on that. That's what it is. I'm always rearranging my clutter. <laughs> I get so frustrated with myself. I'm always rearranging my clutter. Alrighty. 
Getting near the end here. I just love this coffee stained cheesecloth. Thanks, Lori. Lori says she likes the angle of the camera so it's easy to see. Um, that's why I like my Mevo camera so that I can zoom you in and out. Okay. And uh, I'll need to redo this other bow because it just kind of has a mind of its own and it just did its own thing. So um, when I do, you know, when I upload pre-recorded videos to YouTube, see, I cut all of that out, you know, but like I enjoy crafting with y'all in real time um, because, you know, you kind of see how I work through things. That's what I do. And this needs a little bit more of this. Where are my red ones? Did I lose them? Yeah, we need this one needs a little bit more red, some of these red ones. Okay. <clears throat> so then these little market tags, I don't know if that's what they're called, market tags. I've had these for so long. I had bought a big bunch of them at a, an office supply store. And so I actually had tea stained these many years ago. And so I have so many of them, I don't need to buy anymore. And so I um, use them in my country decorating. And so I like to kind of, you know, roughen up the tag a little bit with my, get you guess it, vintage Distress Ink. Okay, so. Pulled out my jewel recording again. Jewel recording. I think that's the name of it. On a cord. Anyway, this thing has lasted me a long time. I think I got that one at Walmart. But you can get a little thin cording like this. So cute. Guys, if you make some of these like this, make sure and share them with me um, in the Country Charm Crafter community. Just kind of tie this here for now. I have taken up a lot of your time. I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. That's what I like about my Mevo camera. I got that up and running again. And so um, that way I can zoom you in and out and kind of show y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Got too um, zoomed in too much. Anyway, so here are my faux apples. Not my faux apples. My country square apples. <laughs> that is my craft for today. And so... Uh, oh my gosh, just all of the different, you know, little country touches and all of that stuff. I just need to add a little jute bow on there or a little twine bow on there. Thank y'all so much. Look at how cute. Sometimes, you know, I tell you, all glory to the Lord because, you know, I'm like, Lord, what do I want? I want to give them something that they're going to enjoy. And so... Uh, all glory to him because he's the one who get, has given me all of this, uh, these gifts and talents and this platform to share. And so I made the square pumpkins earlier. I will include that in the video. Um, I'll get that edited and uploaded and then as well as my uh, apples. So anyway, I hope that y'all enjoyed. So I have the square pumpkins 
And the square apples for my country loving friends. Are you team pumpkin or are you team apple? I don't know. They're both cute. They're both cute. But but just by changing up the different scrapbook paper and you know just the different embellishments you can make them suit anyone's decor anyone's diff you know anyone's style this is just my style so i tend to lean toward that way uh anyway so what did you call your jingle blocks tumbling tower blocks from dollar tree they're called tumbling tower blocks <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's what they're called. Tumbling Tower Blocks. Yeah, those are from Dollar Tree. I think Jenga is a uh, probably patented uh, word, a patented name for the blocks. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching today. God bless you. We will talk to y'all very soon. All right, have a great afternoon. Bye, guys.